the icon of Japan. This is Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is by far the most recognizable landmark in all of Japan, steeped in rich history and beauty. While there are many locations from which you can see the iconic volcano, arguably the best spot has to be one of Fuji's five lakes, Lake Kawaguchi. We had the opportunity to spend a few days exploring Kawaguchiko along with the neighboring town of Fuji Yoshida in an effort to catch the best spots to view Mount Fuji. With only a 20 to 30% chance of seeing Mount Fuji in all its glory, you might be disappointed if you can't see the mountain at all on a simple day trip, which is why we highly recommend staying a couple of days at least either in Kawaguchiko or Fuji Yoshida. Join us as we take you along our journey through Kawaguchiko and some of the best spots to see the icon of Japan. Good morning from Lake Kawaguchi. This is probably the most famous spot to catch the views of Mount Fuji and we're excited to be spending the next two days here. We actually tried to come out early this morning to catch some sunrise views, but it was so cloudy because apparently catching Mount Fuji isn't actually the easiest thing. There's often clouds covering it, but a little bit later and we have bright blue skies and we see Mount Fuji right in the back. Our goal for today essentially is just to walk around the lake, explore different angles of the iconic Mount Fuji, probably grab some food and just enjoy the day. I can't believe we literally stood by the shoreline of Lake Kawaguchi for nearly an hour. And that's because of the low hanging clouds around Mount Fuji. If you wait five or so minutes, the scene changes. Sometimes you see the peak and sometimes you don't. There are actually a lot of fishermen out here as well, either fishing on the shore or in their boats, as it's still fairly early in the morning. Now we're gonna take that opportunity where there aren't that many tourists out here, except for us, to take a stroll along the lake in the quietness of Kawaguchi Po. That right there is our hotel, and right over there is Mount Fuji. No, not actually, but we would love to stay there one day because can you imagine the hotel views they get from that balcony through the window of Mount Fuji in the morning? So jealous, we have to come back one day and stay there. We're on the east side of the lake and you can see below that there are these swan pedal boats below. You can actually rent those out for 2,000 yen for 30 minutes and it's a three-seater. We're not sure how worth it it is because you can't really see too much of Mount Fuji here when you're only spending 30 minutes pedaling here, but it might be actually quite a bit of fun just putting those legs to work and getting out on the lake. We were super hungry from walking around all day, so we wanted to go grab a little lunch. So we found this really cool udon and tempura place. When we are walking around, we noticed there's a lot of tempura restaurants, and I feel like that's a specialty here in Kawaguchi. So we found this little place, and it's right here inside of a residential home. That's so cool how they kind of turned a house into a restaurant. All right, let's go in and grab a bite to eat. Sadly, the tempura udon was sold out when we got here. The one time that we're craving tempura, it's no more. But we did manage to order these huge bowls of cold udon with meat. They look massive. The size of that. And we also dip it over here. So this beautiful looking broth. And it also comes with some tempura flakes that we have on the table right there.
Good morning, guys. It is currently about five in the morning and we're heading off to the train station. And yes, I did shave because I realized from the clips yesterday, the facial hair is not for me. It was looking a little scruffy. It was. We're heading to a really special place today. It is the most beautiful, in my opinion, the most beautiful spot to see Mount Fuji. And we are so grateful today because we woke up to clear skies and Mount Fuji is full in view. Really close to Kawaguchiko Station, you have the Lawson's, a convenience store. Right behind is Mount Fuji. And this is actually a really iconic spot for people to come and take photos. So if you have the time, when you get off the station to visit, come stop at the Lawson's, grab a photo, and then continue on. The starting point to the viewing platform that we want to reach is going to be an uphill battle for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a total of 386 steps, I believe. Hence why I'm out of breath. We made it up to the observation deck in the Arakoriyama Sengen Park with the iconic Jureta Pagoda right behind us. We've been dreaming of being in the spot for many years now. And if you've seen any photo of Mount Fuji, you've probably seen this very image. This park is actually located inside the town of Fuji Yoshida, which is next to Kawaguchi. Now, apparently there's a walking street inside the town that frames Fuji quite nicely. So we're gonna head over there right now. Pretty cool to see the Shima Yoshida Honcho Street in person and I didn't realize how tall Mount Fuji actually towered over it. On the sides of the street there are actually some lanterns as well. I'm pretty sure that they light up at night so if you wanted to come here to see that that would be pretty cool. One thing to note though that this is a legitimate street so that means there are vehicles running up and down so be careful guys don't just stand in the middle of the road for a photo. Definitely sometimes some pedestrians got honked ahead for standing there. I think right now we're going to take the train back go take a nap because it's very early wake up and then later we have one more spot to see Mount Fuji. Unfortunately, when we woke up, it got really cloudy as you can see from the sky here. And as we mentioned before, Fuji gets covered quite easily anytime there's clouds. So right now you can't even see Fuji. So we decided that maybe Oishi Park isn't the best bet. So instead we're just gonna walk around Lake Kawaguchiko, still enjoy the beautiful green hills and end our time here. What an amazing time we've had getting to see Mount Fuji, specifically here at Lake Kawaguchi. This has been a spot we've been dreaming of coming to for four years now, and we're so happy to have checked it off the list. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.